It looks like Canelo Alvarez and Triple G could be headed for a third fight on his own. Let's talk about it, how it can happen. Good fellow Sports TV, y'all know what the business is. We grind it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Won't miss another video from your boy, your dick. And uh, Canelo Alvarez said if Golovkin comes over to the zone, he will be willing to, uh, you know, shoot the fade with him a third time. All right? And um, I think that's total BS. You know what I'm saying? Um, Fight Hype did a video um, about the press call, you know, the press conference call they had uh, yesterday with Canelo. And, you know, Canelo, they made, they made a, a, a clickbait title. Saying that um, Canelo puts Andre, Charlo, and Jacobs on notice. He didn't put nobody on notice. You know what? He didn't call nobody name out. He said that he tends, he tends to come back down to 160 and maybe work between 160 and 168 to defend his titles. Um, but he didn't call nobody out. You know, you know what I'm saying? All these dudes on on a press call was 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 beating around the bush for the real questions. All right, from what I heard. He was beating around the bush. And the bush was, you know, Andre Jacobs and Jamal Charlo. The big bush was Jamal Charlo, okay? You know, they oh, you know, what are your intentions at one six? Just come out and ask me, you got you got any intentions on fighting Danny Jacobs or Jamal Charlo? You know, do you have any intentions on fighting them when you come back down? You know. And they didn't. They just kept asking about, you know, what you who you want to fight at one sixty and beating around the bush and not getting to the real question. So, you know. Golden Boy is known to, you know, revoke press passes and and not grant people press passes. We we know we know we know what that about. All right, um, Keith Ida told me that that doesn't have to real journalists, but they can't request for somebody else to cover their event and not you. Okay, that that has happened before, and um, you know, we already know he don't have no intentions on fighting them dudes. All right, the real interesting thing is it's two real interesting things here. Now, I'm gonna tackle the least of of the two. Uh, first, then we go into the interesting one. The least is, will Canelo Alvarez be willing to fight Golovkin in Madison Square Garden? Okay. Um, or Brooklyn, well, Madison Square Garden. They're not getting to the Barclays Center. Um, that's too that's too black for them. All right. So, you know, will he be willing to fight him in Madison Square Garden? Canelo said he'll love to come back to Madison Square Garden um, after the Rocky Fielding fight. Golovkin been trying to drag it to the Madison Square Garden out east for some time where he feel like he would have the advantage, and this could be where Canelo is trying to engage his fanfare out out east. All right, this is the first time he's fighting a major card out east, so he's trying to gauge his his fanfare out there. And if a nice amount of fans show out to support Canelo Alvarez, you could be seeing Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo three. Okay, so I'm I'm out in New York, and I think that's huge for the city of New York to have had Golovkin and Canelo fight uh, next uh, single de Mayo. Okay, weekend. I think that's huge. I think that's a great marketing tool. I think they didn't dry up Vegas with this fight. That same uh that same uh audience that got that fight uh three two times in a row. I think it's nice to move it to another city. Um Golovkin to be a fool to go to Texas, but Golovkin don't care where the fight is at. He's shown that before because he just care about a check. You know, that's all he care about is the check. And what it I mean, should the WBC sanction this fight? Absolutely not. You know, that's the next, next thing we're going to tackle, okay? WBC sensation this fight. You order Gennady Golovkin. You order him, okay? You order him to fight um, Charlo, okay? Jamal Charlo. He said, screw you. I'm not fighting Jamal Charlo. Mr. Suleiman Jr. came out again and said, basically, uh, we want you to fight Charlo. You know, that's what we want. Hopefully, you know, Golovkin can wake up and take, you know, take the title eliminator. You know, Tom Loeffler came out and said uh, right before that, you know what? Oh, Char uh, Charlo got to fight Willie Monroe. It, it made it difficult for us to make the fight. Two months before that, Charlo was looking to fight you. As soon as he beat um, uh, Hugo Centennial Jr., he was calling you out. We want GGG. I was in the building. You had all year, you know, after September, all year to make that fight. You chose Canelo. Then you knew he wanted to fight you. Then y'all waited for him to sign a fight with Willie Monroe. You know, all of a sudden... Oh, he's fighting a guy Glove can beat two or three years ago. And in time, I would say, oh, he's not available. It'd make it difficult for us to fight Charlo. He got a fight coming up because you guys didn't want to engage in negotiations with Charlo. You know? In the WBC, man, they better not sanction Triple G versus Canelo Alvarez. And if I'm Jamal Charlo, I'm suing, bro. I mean, he's a little bit too passive for me, dog. You know what I'm saying? He's a little bit too passive for me, bro, about this situation. You know, I, I mean, I remember some people were saying he took step-aside money for Canelo fight. And, um, 
you know, you know, or Canelo Triple G. You know, at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he, he a little bit too calm for me, bro. You know, he a little bit too calm about this whole situation. I, I don't think he would even take legal action, you know, if if they gave Glove if Glovin got to the fight and it was sanctioned by WBC. He, he's just gonna sit there and just let and let and let the middleweight division pass him by. For a minute, he's gonna be at 168. You know? No, but at the end of the day, that's great for the zone to drive subscribers there and drive traffic there. Canelo Triple G three, I don't have an interest in the fight at all. Um, I just don't. I mean, I've seen him fight twice. really don't want to see it again. But people are interested in the third fight. Um, but all I'm saying is, you know, how can you sanction a fight when you sank, when you ordered Golovkin in the title eliminator? He refuses the title eliminator and still get the title shot. You know, what do you got rules for, WBC? You know, what is their rules for? And we know, we know they don't care. You know, he's going to jump over Charlo. Get that shot. They're going to count it as a mandatory. They're going to order it, count it as a mandatory for Canelo. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They're going to order Golovkin as a mandatory for Canelo. Okay? Then Canelo ain't got to fight a mandatory to next May. Okay? They're going to order Charlo, if you beat William Monroe, to another title eliminator. All right? You can fight that title eliminator in the middle of next year. Or the first quarter, second quarter next year. Okay? Then Canelo going to come back and seek de Mayo and do something else. I mean, uh, Mexican Independence Day 2019 do something else. Then, you know, and then come next year, you know, something going to happen between Jamal Charlo and, or 2020, excuse me, and Canelo. It's going to go to a purse, but I don't know what's going to happen, all right? I just don't foresee this fight happening. I'm just telling you that like that. And people is going to not address the elephant in the room, okay? You know, oh, Danny Jacobs, I can't. Look here, man, Danny Jacobs, man, that's that's the one That's the one guy he would rather fight, especially if Andre get his, 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 his uh, he has muscles back up the park. That's the one guy he will fight is is uh Jacobs. You know, because Jacobs, you know, it you know Jacobs is is just less talented than the other other guys in the division naturally. And like I said, people think Danny Jacobs is this great fighter. I seen him struggle with Salucky. I seen him struggle with Sergio Moore in the first fight. I seen him knocked out by Pierog. I mean, I seen him go to distance with Caleb Truex, who's a solid fighter. He's not this big knockout puncher. That's why Canelo out of the three that's why Canelo, out of everybody there, with him and Golovkin, like they was going to fight, his bluff was Danny Jacobs. You know, and Danny Jacobs thinks he's bigger, stronger than Canelo, that he's going to beat Canelo Alvarez. Remember, this dude is a $365 million man. You're not about to beat him. So you're going to sell yourself, okay? He gonna sell. He Basically, he's selling his belt. That's what's happening. Uh, Danny Jacobs going to sell his belt to Canelo because Danny Jacobs is not going to sell out for the knockout. I should tell you that right now. Jacobs is too he, he too much of a punk in the ring, his his style, you know. He too much of a punk in the ring. All right? He he just he just like when he came in versus the left, he was scared of his power. He was a punk. And then when he realized the power was over over uh over hype, then he started working, but he still never really sold out. And while his style and being, you know, being like a beta male in the ring sometimes, bro, you know, Canelo is gonna rob him, okay? Even if he wins, he loses. So he's just selling his belt. That's my opinion there. You know, so it is what it is, man. Anybody going over there to fight that guy, if you don't have the knockout mentality 100%, you don't know, come in there and think you get the knockout. We know Golovkin don't. We know Jacobs. He don't always go, go in there looking for the knockout, all right? You know, if you don't have a knockout mentality, you can rob. okay? If you don't knock this guy out, you can rob. So basically everybody over here going fighting Canelo for a check at this point. And that's just the fact of the matter of it. You know, these dudes fighting for a check. So at the end of the day, like I said, if Charlo ain't pressing about the situation, why should us why should us the fans or the brothers press for Charlo? Okay? He's comfortably fine holding that trinket belt around his waist and over his arm. So be it. But I told you guys, brace yourself for Triple G Canelo 3. I see it's probably gonna go down in May, barring no injuries and no setbacks. And WBC is probably gonna sanction that shit. And you won't hear nothing from Charlo but 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 being the church mouse. All right. Yeah, I don't fight for guys who don't publicly fight for themselves. All right. But um, it's good fellow sports TV. Y'all know what the business is, man. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Facebook group, all those links in the description. Also, the article link. I mean, not the article link, but uh, emails in the description. We'll make a donation to the channel. That's there as well. Hopefully, everybody's been blessed. Continue to share the videos. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. We'll miss another video. And um, y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. We gone.